a winter storm is coming. A big winter storm that is ready to be making its way into the Northland. Southwest from Minnesota, the potential for some ice into early Tuesday, a mixed bag of precip across southern Minnesota Tuesday into Wednesday, with some very heavy snow developing from the North Shore. White out condition territory, which means another difficult commute. Winter storm watches out for a good chunk of Minnesota and even the potential of some ice. Well, this is a basic mid-latitude cyclone, as we call it. This is the area that we are the most concerned for the most snow. Quite the stir when it comes to snowfall and travel, so not something you want to get out and about and do. This is the type of stuff that is really going to test your bodies. So keep that in mind as you think about traveling. It's probably not advised. If you do have to go out, plan for extra time and difficult road conditions. Be safe, Northland. Heading up to Maple, Wisconsin. Taking down a beautiful cabin. The cabin was built sometime after 1860 when the land was sold uh, by the railroad to this family that ended up building this Finnish, Swedish style, northern Minnesota cabin. It was just one hitch. Next week is about high of nine degrees all week, so we don't want to do it next week. And tomorrow is a pretty sizable snowstorm. They call it up here in Minnesota a blizzard. So we came a day early trying to get as much work done as we can, kind of racing against the clock to get this thing done. Got a, a truck coming Thursday to get it loaded and sent back to our shop to start rebuilding and restoring. But it should be a eventful week of work. Alright so Chelsea and I originally toured this barn two three weeks ago. So we are moving pretty quick on this structure. So this will be the first time that Elias actually gets his own eyes on it, except for the pictures that he's seen. So I've made some blunders in the past, some mistakes in the past about barns that we probably shouldn't have done that we've ended up purchasing. So I was hoping that this isn't one of those, uh, those moments. I don't think it will be. I think he's gonna be super excited about the cabin and excited for you to see it, bro. Our nemesis. Ooh, it's a enclosed cab. I like to see oh, that. Boy. <laughs> First impressions. Can't tell from a distance. Still looks like the pictures, which is good. It's crazy how smooth they heat these. I know. I mean, that's probably the ugliest looking part, but we can media blast or pressure wash that out. The inside's gonna be beautiful. You can just tell. Oh yeah. Oh, just the feel of it. That's a cabin. Used to be a stove here. We haven't seen in one of these cabins yet a, a partition wall that's already built in. Some people might think it kind of closes it off, but I mean, this is a pretty, for like a nice cottage feel cabin. I mean, this is a big space and we have this whole open area over here. So, as I didn't see this last time, there's this little hidden door into a, not much of a basement, but a little crawl space. Popular mechanics. Should um, your next boat be a submarine? <laughs> <laughs> what year is this? 1970. They missed that one. <laughs> Dude. What are you seeing? There are sleepers and build floorboards underneath this. They're half log sleepers. Uh, should that water stain outline concern anybody? <laughs> Dude, look at this. The railroad calendar for the railroad cabin. Wow. Dude, you look like that guy off Trailer Park Boys. A Christmas tree. Oh, I'm putting this up on the towel handler. Dude, what is that stuffed animal? Oh, like, ah! oh my gosh. Dude, look at how its feet are just dangling. <laughs> oh my god! Dude, no freaking way. This is a horror movie. We're in a horror movie. Vile creature! Fly! <laughs> and he runs away. <laughs> no way. Is that brand new? Brand new. Viking Stick Packers 2117. Dude, what is this? Dear Santa, how are you? I would like for Christmas a Barbie. Yeah. Got some glass. That was crystal, but all right. Throw out the sink. I think your fridge is running. Down one. <laughs> I 
Hello? Babe, I'm gonna tell you about calling during work hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't wanna work with Sunbelt! Elias, Elias, we gotta go. We gotta get to work. <laughs> I'm not fond of Sunbelt, but this is a redemption round. Sunbelt Duluth may be very different from Sunbelt Indianapolis. We called Sunbelt a week before we were supposed to start the job in Indiana. They told me over voicemail that the telehandler that we reserved a week ago, which we had already paid for, wasn't actually available and they didn't actually have it. So let's see if we can make green pretty again in this Christmas season. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and we're gonna get the lightning rod up top for the owner because he requested that we get it. So. We're gonna do that for him and then we're gonna tear this roof off. All right, I'm gonna get this taken care of and then we'll go over and grab that one over there. All right, mission successful there. Now we're on to the roof. The well, gonna tear into this. Hopefully after that, tear into the siding and then we start tagging up the beams. And man, cabins just go so much quicker than barns, so. We're hoping that's the case for this one. So we're <clears throat> kind of up on top now, clearing the roof off. We we'll get some of the uh, attic caved in. We're pulling that apart. Find a little tin of Copenhagen, a tin of long burning pipe and cigarette tobacco, another tin of Copenhagen. Cigarettes. Cigarettes, more cigarettes, more cigarettes, another tin of Copenhagen, cigarettes, more cigarettes, cigarettes, more cigarettes, cigarettes, more cigarettes. Uh oh. <laughs> this guy had a problem. Charles had a bit of a problem here. <laughs> He's hiding it from Priscilla. Got the whole roof off, and most of the upstairs cleared out. So now we're taking all the siding off, just keeps getting prettier and prettier. I think this actually was covered up most of its life. I don't think it's been exposed to the elements for very long. We almost think the way that they put this stuff around it, the siding and these corners, it's almost like it was designed for that, or at least these people wanted it. So it's pretty unique. We'll keep discovering more. <laughs> So last night we actually stayed somewhere pretty special. The cabin that we're currently taking down is only 45 minutes north of where I grew up in Minnesota. So we are staying with my mom and my dad and I just wanted to show you guys really quickly that me and my mom have something pretty cool in common. We both work with reclaimed wood. Now I work with barns and cabins while well, her reclaimed wood is driftwood. So she is a driftwood artist and she makes these beautiful animal sculptures out of driftwood uh, that she finds along the lake shore of Lake Superior, mostly. Here showcase the moose head that she made, which is going to be mounted in a great room in a ranch in Colorado on someone's fireplace. You could see a, another life-size moose that's more of a two-dimensional piece that's meant to hang on a wall, along with some of her other artwork. She doesn't use any kind of shaping tools basically finds the right pieces so she'll find an eye she'll find a snout and then she'll find these filler pieces and she'll just use her mind to kind of fit the pieces together like you would a puzzle i just really respect what she does and i think that part of the reason that i'm into reclaimed wood is because i saw my mom using this driftwood in unique ways as i was growing up we would walk the beaches with her we would help her collect her driftwood and it's exciting to see how her art has continue to advance and change and each new piece that she 
creates just blows me away. So if you guys want to check out her artwork, she's really specializing right now in those fireplace great room pieces uh, that are more three-dimensional that look like the head shoulder mounts that you would see if you shot a moose or shot an elk except it's completely made of driftwood so uh, especially since we are staying here i felt like it would be a good way to honor my mom thanks for hosting us thank you yes dad's already at work so we're okay. heading out now Can gonna brave see? the weather wind gusts pretty high begins hey, we just pulled up got the cabin behind me Telehandler's running. What we need to do now is we need to finish tagging the three sides we didn't get to last night. Drawing those three sides up so that we can create building plans later. And then after that, it's a matter of uh, taking it apart one log at a time. So I'll go up there on the second floor and I'll just start kind of handing Elias logs so we get the whole second floor up. Then we'll clear the floor, remove the floor joists, and then go all the way down to the bottom. Hopefully this thing goes fast and we don't have much problems. Because um, we got one day to do this. We got a semi truck coming tomorrow to pick it up. Yeah, they can. Um, the driver doesn't want to. Hold, hold on one sec. The driver doesn't want to come for the ice and the snow. Do we have this rental for a week? No. We just have it for three days. I think it's two days. We need to come up with a skid loader. Yeah. We could come up next week and we'll just have to bring a skid loader with. All right, sounds good. People don't want to brave the, brave the elements too? It's a problem. It's not hard like us. Yeah, I guess. Got to take some of the stuff off from the inside of the cabin so that the logs are unhindered and loose and we can just pop right out. So got to get this wainscot on the walls off, these door trims and jams off, and then there's some cabinets hanging in the kitchen. Let's get that off as well. That way everything should come right apart pretty easy. We don't want to be banging stuff around with our forks too much and doing any damage. So we want to do a lot of these unstacking by hand as much as possible. So. All right, well, let's get the tail handler started and we're gonna remove those top three courses. And that'll be the beginning, I'm excited. Just like that, we got the top three courses that comprised the top story all dismantled. Now we gotta take care of these floorboards and then see what's underneath for floor joists and try to save those. Oh, dude, 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 dude. Is that our tobacco? Lucky ah, What's in the paper today? Well, looks like we can get some good deals on boys' parkers. Hines Beauty Bargain. Complete cream for your face. Portrait of a man cashing in his war bonds. They insulated their cabin with kindling. <laughs> Pretty amazing, it never burned down. Yeah. All right, Elias is gonna go in the tele and then we're gonna pop these floors up. It's starting to actually get closer to dark, so yeah. then we gotta go, go, go. Get as much done as we thought we would.
For everyone who thought their masks were doing something during COVID. It's kind of like this. <laughs> you think this floor is doing something? <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> So it's getting darker outside. I think we're gonna try to go as late as we can. It's really a good thing that truck driver called in because we don't have to work through the dark. It'd be nice to get this done. Head back to my parents' place tonight because they just live an hour south of here. Stay the night, wake up, take our time in the morning, head back to Cedar Falls and then come pick this stuff up and clean up the mess next week. But in order to do that, we need the whole structure down because we don't want to rent a 55 foot telehandler again for a day. So. We'll see how far we get. I don't want to work too late into the night, so. Ezra, didn't we put some beams here yesterday? Well, I don't know where they are. Somebody stole them. <gasps> it was that six-year-old in camo pants. <laughs> All right, looks like we have got seven courses left to do on this cabin. Hopefully these courses come a little bit quicker than the courses we were taking down yesterday, which were all the long beams. We're digging through some uh, deep snow right now while I pull the telehandler up and let's see if we can get this cabin done in a timely manner and get out of here, get back to our families. Except for the, the bottom two or three, now we can kind of start working the, with these smaller pieces. So these are still locked in. So I'm gonna kind of remove this piece, remove this piece, remove this piece, remove this piece and move back and forth. So this is where things really start to speed up and you start to see a lot of progress visually. one small section left that's tied into the partition wall and then we're just gonna cruise around get all the long beams I think there's two or three layers on the bottom kind of clear some of this off stack these up nice band them All right, that's a wrap. It's finished. <laughs> Get it, because it's a finished finished cabin. We're gonna head home, come back next Tuesday. It's supposed to be pretty cold. I think it's supposed to be below zero. So, no snow though, which we're happy about. 
really wasn't that bad of a blizzard. Once we got up here, we were able to make it work. Got to load up the semi, finish cleaning up this mess, just piling it up on the foundation for the owner to dispose of, probably burn. And then uh, bring her back home and build her. So I'd say so far so good. We took this down last year, have been just so busy with projects. This one has kind of taken a back seat, but we're still really excited about it. Uh, so we've started the restoration process, done some repair of the sill logs. We milled all new flats on it so that it could be built on a new modern foundation. Replaced a, a handful of logs, uh, some rot that was underneath a window, and we're gonna be putting up a ridge beam as well. We're really excited about it still, uh, either for it to to be a cabin for somebody else's use uh, that may may buy it. Uh, but Ezra and I have really loved this thing ever since we got it and we thought, what would it look like for this to be built on our property for, you know, a, an office for the business? It's kind of one of those that you, you really don't want to see go. But we can't do that with every project because I feel like I, I get a little bit of that with each project we do where it's like, but maybe we should just build it ourselves. <laughs> No, we wouldn't make any money. Let's go walk and grab those dolls. Oh my god! Like, ah! <laughs> Fly! Well, you know we kept them. They've been haunting our warehouse for a year. I think this is the prince for one of the dolls. I'm gonna return you to your home. <laughs> Whether it's us rebuilding it or, or the people who buy this, I mean, it has to go with them. I mean, it's been, a, been an adventure, little buddies. Thanks for the ride.